Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're going to talk about the split and join methods for strings in Python. If you've ever needed to break strings into words or stitch them back together again into a sentence, these are the tools for you. Let's jump right in. So let's say that we have a string apples, bananas, and grapes. And I assign that to a variable called text. And I want to split up that one string into three separate strings. So I'm going to use the split method and I'm going to put inside the parentheses as an argument the comma. This is going to return a list of strings, three of them. One string will be apples, one will be bananas, one will be grapes, and they're going to be split based on this separator, which is the comma. So if I print out fruit, we'll see that we've got that list of strings. Split returns that list and we've assigned it to this variable fruit. Let's say that we had the string python is fun to learn and I assign that to a variable text like I did with fruits and I want to split that up. I could do something like this. I could say text.split but this time I won't pass anything as argument. I won't pass a separator into those parentheses and I'll assign the list that's returned by split to words and then I'll print out words. So what we're gonna see is a list of five words. Python is fun to learn. If we don't pass any arguments to the split method, then by default, split will separate based off of white space. So that could just be space character, like in this example, or a tab character or a new line character. What about join? Well, join is the opposite of split and it's used to combine separate strings into a single string. Let us say that I had a list of strings and I'll assign it to a variable called words and it'll be Python is fun. And I want to create a new sentence, Python space is space fun. I'm gonna do something like this. I'm going to make an empty string. I'm gonna then do dot join on that empty string. Looks a little weird, but it's correct and then replace as an argument inside of those parentheses, the variable referring to our list. So what we're doing here is we're saying, join all of the strings in that words list and use a space as the separator. Let's print out the result of that and we'll assign the result of that to a variable called text. So we'll print text and we'll see in the output, Python is fun. Let's consider a real world example. Let's think about CSV files. What does CSV stand for? Comma separated values. It's a way of storing records in a text file where each of the individual fields in that record, each value is separated by a comma. Split and join will be perfect for this. Assume that we read in a line from the file and maybe it looks like this. Dog, cat, fish. And we need to split that up because we want to change it from the singular to the plural. I might do something like this. I might say words equals CSV underscore data dot split. We know how to do that. What's the separator commas? It's a CSV file. Now I have a list of words, a list of strings that I can append an S to. I'll create a loop for I in range of the length of the list. And for each one of the words in that list, I will append an S to it. And then after I've done that, I'm going to join them back together. So that way we could write them back to the file. And that could look something like this. CSV data equals, what's my separator again? Comma dot join words. And then I'll print out my updated CSV data which I would have written back to the file if we were processing an actual CSV file. So you can see now we've got our dogs, our cats, and our fishes. I guess that should be an ES there, but you get the idea. Be careful because join is only going to work on strings. It doesn't work with numbers, for example. Consider we had something like this. Numbers equals one, two, three, and we tried to join this. If we did something like, so here's our separator space, and so we do join numbers and assign that to a variable. I'll just call it V and then try to print that out. That's going to give us an error 
because join only works on strings. So if we wanted to do something like this, we'd have to convert the numbers into strings first. Something like this, num strings equals, use a string function to convert n for n in numbers, and then we can do our join. v equals, our separator will be a space in this example, and then we'll do our join, num strings, and then if we print it out, we've got our new string. Let's see another example where we're gonna get user input, split it up, and then join it again. So I could do something like this, user input equals, and I'll just do input, enter three words. Now, whatever the user enters is gonna be one long string, and I might wanna split that up. Words equals user input dot split, and then once I've split that up, I've got my list of words. We could process those words. In this example, we'll just print it out to the user, print words, and then I could join them back again. So join equals, and the separator here, I will use a exclamation point because you can use whatever you want for the separator when you smush everything back together. Dot join words, and then I'll print out the rebuilt string. So we'll do print joint. So if I run that and I type in response alpha beta charlie, we can see here is the string split up and then here is the string joined back together using the exclamation point as our separator. What's the algorithm? Get some data, split it up, process it, join it back together. This is useful for parsing commands, editing text, or formatting output. Let's recap. Use split to separate a string into a list of strings based off of some separator that you provide, either the default or something else. Use join to take a list of strings and create a new string. And always make sure that the list for join only contains strings. The methods here are very simple but powerful, and you're gonna use them in all kinds of Python projects. Well, that's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. As usual, if you're a student of mine, you have questions about the content in this video or any of the videos in our courses, feel free to email me via Canvas or stop by our Zoom office hours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.